Support our YouTube. This is Afro Ninja. This time I'm coming to you guys with a widescreen, high quality tutorial. <laughs> First of all, you'll need, um, well, if you want to do it properly, you might need Pinnacle Studio 12 and Sony Vegas Pro 7 or 8. Alright, you see, you see here the widescreen, high quality. Uh, But um, I'll be showing you how to get that. You might want you want to pull up Pinnacle Studios 11, I mean 12, whatever, and you want to go to capturing and click this uh, camera icon and get uh, coloring and different stuff. Okay, you want to make your little tabs exactly like mine. I mean, you can work with it, see how you do it, but. Um, yeah, it's pretty much it for that part. You want to go to settings. The capture source is, you know, click your dazzle or whatever. And no auto scene detection. NTSC 16 by 9 uh, I'm not really sure if this helps by having it on or off, but I have it off. But <clears throat> for the capture format, you want MPEG 1, 2, slash 2, high quality DVD. And then, uh, yeah, pretty much leave everything default from here on out for these two tabs. Private preferences and video and audio preferences. So, yeah, click OK. And then, yeah, it's pretty much it for that part. Oh, yeah, after you, uh, sorry, it's acting kind of slow, but after you, uh, edit it and stuff like that, you want to go to make movie file type AVI full screen DV and create file. Alright. Next thing you want to do is go to Sony Vegas Pro 8, which is loaded right now. Sorry I wasn't prepared for this tutorial, but oh well. It's loaded. But yeah, widescreen has been like recently used a lot by Gears of War players. I've just been seeing it on and on and on, montage after montage. I was like, well, I gotta get widescreen. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what you do? What you want to do is now go import your your clip or whatever you want widescreen. I just put this clip I always use for test. If it will open. Alright, and drag it in. Alright, next thing you want to do is you basically go to, wait, go to private properties right here. You want it NTSC, what? Tell me NTSC DV, leave it all default, all of that. Apply, start. You might want click, to click this box right here and click apply. Okay. Next thing you want to do is right click on the clip, go to properties, go to media, and then you want it, you want this to be NTS DV widescreen or square. I've never really tested square, but looks like to me it makes it like um, the black bar is smaller, so it'll be a bigger widescreen, as you can say. But I kind of prefer the TSC DV widescreen right here. You know, I just like that better. Um, you might see that I have these like green little things on the bottom of the clip. It happens to a lot of people. I'm just put this out. If you have that problem, just go to pan slash crop and just lift this up a little so I'll get rid of that and then just get out of there. Alright, next thing you want to do is. Video effects. Oh yeah, by the way, what, what you did in Pinnacle Studios was color settings. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but if you have those settings, you don't need to do this, like the saturation adjust and all that. But yeah, if you don't know, just put in boost mid tones from saturation adjust. So you put the top one all the way to the right. Top one, I mean, 
sits all the way to the left and the spread all the way to the right. And then you want to sharpen 0.5%. I mean, 0 0.005. Just give it a little bit of detail. And this is your choice. Decrease gamma levels. Makes it kind of darker, but yeah, it's up to you. And you want to drag this along there. Go to file. Render as. And while this is loading, you can uh, just chill, I guess, for like a couple seconds. Alright, you want to title it? I'll just blah blah blah. All the kind of numbers. <laughs> you want to uh, save it as a Windows Media Video 9, which is WMV. And the template, uh, let's see, anyway, most best. I just named it most best just because it doesn't really matter what you name it, but go ahead and name it what you want to really fast. It just takes like three seconds unless you really want a good name. But you want a video video rendering quality best. You know, just click that, go to best. Audio, leave it, go to videos, important part. You want that you want mode to be CVR, Windows Media Video 9. Change the image size to custom. You want it to be with pixels or whatever that is. Yeah, pixels. It will probably be 720 for you guys, so just change it to 1000. And then you want the pixel aspect ratio to be 1.0 square. Uh, frame rate to be 30 you know, frames per second. Three, and then don't click this in. You want video smoothest, sharpest. And pretty much it so yeah then you click save and then you're good to go but yeah this to show you how to this to show you how to get widescreen for you guys that don't know how or even have trouble with it um, so yeah you might see me using this a lot in the future but um yes subscribe to my page um Oh yeah, this was this tutorial was to uh, what's his name? You don't really have to watch this part. It's just I got this from this dude. Uh, yeah, right here. It was Big Evil Forty Seven. He wanted a tutorial on how to do it. On uh, it didn't. It was right here. On widescreen, high quality tutorial that he wanted. So, this is basically from him. Sub subscribe to his page. He only has one subscriber, but yeah, just do it anyway, I guess. But yeah, it was a special request for him. But if you need any help with Sony Vegas, anything, just send me a message or a comment below this uh, video. So, um, yeah, peace.